Hey there, everyone. This is Cow playing Paper Mario and the entire telephone book. And, uh, I, I, look, I care about the lore of this world and this game, and I will go and take some time to pay money to the vagabond that lives on the rooftops and I'm gonna hear what he says it looks like there's like a ton of text I don't know how long this is going to take but it might take a while and if that's the whole session well I guess it's the whole session and I had a great night's sleep as soon as I woke up I feel like my nose has been full of flag like as soon as I woke up I don't know why I hate it grass is growing on this roof. Yeah, I need to sneeze. Blow my nose more than sneeze. Alright, wait. Yeah, what is your take on this guy, Gumbella? Does he seem truthful or fully? <laughs> That's the word I said. Sounds great. Actually, it's five coins. That's more than a couple, Gumbella. But yeah, there is a lot of them. And that you can tell me now there's going to be more? And there's going to be more. Like, let's let's go away with the preamble and just tell me the story. Oh, so this is gonna be the backstory of Rogueport. Yep. Your text is slightly blue. I think. Depends on which screen I'm looking at, which is weird to think about. It was a... Yeah, it's not a calamity. It was just like a rogue storm like we saw in the intro. It was a proper demon. Wow, that's it? Five coins and you get, like, a page? Okay! No, 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 they're all the same tale, it's just that, you know, you, you nickel and dime, literally. <laughs> you created crystal stars! Okay, so these were demon created. Yeah. Okay, yeah, see, like, oh, wow, this is... Okay. A hero who arose. Okay. Alright. I feel like the story you just told... Um... Was missing quite a few details. That's not really a story, that's not really a tell, that is a... Very short summary that you give a TV exec in order to pitch your Netflix adaptation of something. Ah, uh, uh, go ahead and tell me. Bogley Woods. Smart Goomba. Okay. <laughs> like, this is nothing. I was ready to sit down and just absorb like a whole, just like a whole lot of knowledge. But these are all incredibly empty. Shell and Pure Bravado is a pretty fun uh, sentence. Okay, then. Again, like, like you're not really telling a story. You are... ...enunciating facts in a relatively dry way. Not really, like, it's not what I would have expected from a self-described minstrel type. <laughs> Alright. Sounds great. See, look at that. And so the magic, like, just no details, just it, it happened. 
All right, we need to 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 team up with the other two heroes, and so the two heroes teamed up with the Koopa and the Ghost. It's like <laughs> this is <laughs> this is bad storytelling. Like just as a storytelling, I'm sure the hero is fine if fairly conventional, but <laughs> oh, I am uh, I am not impressed. Duel with a demon. Oh boy. And so the four heroes happened up upon the demon and they dueled the demon. And they fought the demon. End of this chapter. Is that what's gonna happen? So I realize this was the power of crystal stars. Okay. That is basically exactly what happened. Except instead of focusing on dueling the demon, it's just stealing the stars, but like... <laughs> uh, okay, sure, tell me the tale, weasel man. Seal him up, yep. All agreed. Like, I understand it's not supposed to be, like, a big thing in the game or anything. I... I... <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh, power of Generations forgot. That's right, they're all hanging out in sewer-style rope port. Uh, I mean, it's neat. Like, it's still a nice bit of flavor. I don't know. Like, I, I feel like the writing quality has been pretty good in this game. So, just having all this information be given in such a dry way came off as a little shocking to me. Uh, before I go to the boat and actually get started, I want to go to the Shine Tradesman. I want to get the Flower Saber P. Since flower saver traditional isn't gonna do much for me. I mean, it's just over here. It's all good. Uh, stop talking, even though we're like right there, because my meow quest did get me a whole lot. Just like so much. I'm at 50. I could get power plus in one, but I think this is better. So this means one point discount when using a partner attack. Just said in like a completely over elaborate insane way. Uh, you know what? I'll take her flyer attack effects. Attack effects, why or four? Yeah, it's free, so I'll do it. Yay. Good for now. Didn't change my mind, I got two of them. Pay attention to what we're doing. Alright, so... Yep, I'm gonna add more of that. So yeah, so when Mario attacks, but Mario, he's a battery. But now, basically everything is discounted by one when it's in partner ability. So setting the world on fire... It's gonna cost five instead of six. All right, Gumbella, what's your take on this winning team here? Yeah, that that is pretty unlikely. A patch. I mean, some of these we've already. No, I want to. Oh, what? Oh, right. It does not hurt to dream. Did your text change? No. Four eyes, because he has two eyes. Yeah, it's so... No, nah, it's... Uh, I... Yeah. Motivation is good. I'm a little bobbery. I 
How nice if you have like boat mode text. Oh, I don't want. No, you've already talked to me about Bobbery. I want Flavio. Super rich, own some ships. Yeah, it has so. It has a lot of stars. Toad sailor, freaked out to be a sailor, but he's a sailor. Oh, he can take care of himself. It's it's called confidence in your family. No, I want to scan the guys on top, but I spoke to this man instead. That's right. Uh oh. Not yet. I have to scan the two guys on top of the boat. I look. <laughs> this is the life we live. That's thrifty. That's right. Yeah, that is what he said yesterday. Uh, he's hoping that we'll actually gonna like make a settlement of some kind. In which case, he would get rich if he can make it work. It's a big gamble. That is accurate. Okay, I'm ready now. Let's shove it! You look worried. Like, what is that expression you are showing? Raise anchors at shelf with thrills and emotion and romance and money. Those are the four things we could say when you talk to this guy to get started. Wait up! There we go. That's our battle cry! SS Flavian's mighty shout of WAIT UP! <laughs> hey, this boat is clearly not made of paper. It's a big polygon object. Oh my gosh, I can't believe there's a Nyx dot on the ship. Who could have thought it? Five by <laughs> five by is a funny sentence. But I know that it's not supposed to be a secret. Like, I, I know it's supposed to be obvious. So I just wonder why there's that little scene. <laughs> just to make absolutely sure. Maybe it's just to make absolutely sure. Chapter 5! The Key to Pirates! Weird name, but okay. <laughs> the Key to Pirates. What does that mean? Check out that sun, I love it. Monstar Dagzo. Well, no, they kiss and hug, I guess. Over the protest of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Probably. Absolutely. Flavia will show them the insides of an animal. Well, that's day two. Unless days last longer or shorter than cycle of sun and moon. We same moon shape. Yeah, it's a day two. It would not perceptibly change. Oh. Going smoothly. Alright. So it's a four day trip. We got us. We're all standing on ship. This is a crowded little ship. Skull Captain cast his gaze with jewels, shines, and plays. Yeah, there was a skull, a big red skull with you at the very start. And then there's Cortez, the story of Cortez. Stash Brothers, best of friends. Three times red stash lands on his end. Okay, so, okay. So we got the Stash Brothers, who, you know, have a good relationship. And they jump three times. The red mustache lands three times, probably, on old Cortez, huh? Uh, that sentence makes no sense, though. Also, a blue Mario. I don't know that one. The mustache is barely four times as whack. So jump three times on red and whack a blue thing four times. All right. So, like, hammer four, jump three. That's what it sounds to me. Nothing to fear? No. Raw bravery. The rawest of them all.
Look, he has one tale of bravery, so he's gonna repeat it, alright? <laughs> Yeah, why does the music change? He's not listening. Oh, he did. He did. He is. I love how he's just teleporting from side to side. That's efficiency. Oh, hey, slain animals fire. Well, astral objects have disappeared. I'm having a bad time here. Oh, that's a lot. Okay. Like when you're stuck on a little piece of wood in the middle of the ocean, like you, there's nowhere you can go. You gotta jump on the red three times and whack the blue one four times. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that was pretty funny. Ooh! Oh, that's a lot. Got a GameCube moment here. He's blue! Meanwhile, Mario, like, not moving at all. He just does not care. <laughs> He's wondering what exactly, why is everyone freaking out? Look, it's just a generator, you gotta take it carefully. Whoa! You jumped in the mid- Whoa! Oh, I guess we're just sinking. That's gonna happen. Ghost tunnel sinking! I mean, is it irony? That's where we it's where we wanted to go. You call it irony, I call it mission accomplished. Oh, I did not notice that though. That's gonna be fine. Hell yes, salt. The salty bounty of the sea. The old day zero zero, huh? I mean, they're clearly circles. Look at that. Nuts to that, we got our own city. Key Hall Key! Wonder what all my pulpas are thinking about this, how they're handling this. Hell yeah! Check it out, we're now in the world, it's all very green. Alright, I gotta go on a mouse hunt first. Oh, and I have to get her opinion on play. <sighs> Okay, I gotta do every- like, for every places, I gotta mouse hunt, and I need to get the latest... the latest hubbub. Blue skies, white cow- white clouds. <laughs> You're funny, Gumbella. You're great. Okay, well, before I just start stomping around everywhere, like, let's just actually look in places. Got this beach, we got these rocks, it's pretty great. I have a sock, 
I'm not wearing any socks right now, but this place does look kind of nice. Hey, I remember you from the first game. I'm not whacking you. I know the game. Whoa. Whoops. I just, I, I cannot help but wonder if... I wonder if I can get to that rock. But like, I can't help but wonder if whacking poor poor Wacka here is where the secret is, because I'm not doing that. All right, wait, let me give you, let you give me another sniff. No, it's nearby and it's around here. Well, I'm sure I cannot find the secret. I've looked all over the place. I pounded all over the place and just no luck at all. Uh, well, I mean, okay. I'm pretty sure God tell me there's gonna be something. But yeah, it's like the town part of town. Like, yeah, there's going to be like a ton of stuff probably. I mean, it does seem like it'd be a pretty nice place. Uh, of course they are. Hey, sup? Oh, you guys are still fighting about that? Finally, we're gonna get rid of this guy. <sighs> really? That's a flag. Oh, okay. That was... What's <laughs> up? <laughs> hey. I guess we're fighting. Actual ghosts! Alright, can't flee this fight. Alright, what's the deal with Ember, huh? I'm gonna assume I can't really blow them up. They seem to be made of fire. Kinda right, spooky, max HP. Okay, big attack. Flame touching it will hurt, of course. Ice or explosions? Okay. Uh, I mean, I have an ice storm, but that seems to be silly to use that on, like, these guys. Let's just test things out. Oh, I was so early. It's disgusting. Okay, I don't understand. I, I just keep being super early. Okay. Oh, great. Oh, Goombella, you're on fire! Alright, alright. Well, anyways, I'm sending out poops anyways. Uh, gonna do a little bit of a power shell. There we go. One down. Uh, I guess we can just go ahead and sweet treat. I think I like that better than defending. It's always silly when one of the poison mushrooms, like, one of the last things. Way too early. Uh, okay. I thought you were creating a new guy, but no, you're just still way too early. Like, I cannot read these. It's insane. Alright, but you're all dead now, so it's all good. Hey. You guys are lucky you're made of fire. Because, um... 99, huh? Because you would have instantly died from Vivian's uh, jinx. Because she does eight damage if you count if you count the explosion, the the, the fire damage. There are surely more. Yeah, and that's what we're gonna be doing starting tomorrow. That is weird. Uh, I I I. Even if you hadn't said anything, I would have offered to do it. So, I'm going to assume I don't have to pay for healthcare, because that would be weird. Why does it cost me any money? I'm the captain! 
Uh, it's fine. I don't have... 10 is my health, so it's all good. It's all good. Next time, I mean, we might kind of go around around here and talk a little bit. Uh, I think that the Waka is the secret, but there are more items here, though, but, you know, maybe we'll find something. Oh, yeah, Mal did detect something somewhere. We'll take a look around, and, um, but, yeah, we're exploring the island. I'm just doing a little bit of, oh. All right! See, like, even if I get 15 star bits now, it doesn't really matter. Because it's not like I can return and exchange it for big power. Alright, you know, there's still more. Well, see, I don't know if she counts the objects in the store as, um, secrets. Or as objects of interest. Because I know that having any object available at all anywhere counts. And those are all very clearly there. Whoops. Yeah, I know. So I wonder if that's getting in the way of her ability to sense things. And I can't go in between there. All right, well, it looks like I did a little preliminary scope around. But yeah, next time! Keel hole keep! We did it! We're at a place! Adventure!